Hey, it's Gigi the Gadget Goddess going outside. Check the mail. See if what's supposed to be here is here. Let's check the I pulled it out of the dual case because, well, just because. I'm gonna add the sim and stuff to it and I'm just gonna need to be in the phone more. Um, so I'm taking the sim out of my Vivo. As long as I waited for that case, it's a pretty good freaking case. That's, uh, that's the Vivo Next 3 5G. And I waited for the case for probably a month or two. But it's tempered glass front and back. And um, it's just a good case. I'm gonna put this back in here. Cause we're gonna use this phone to um, put the information on the other phone. Is this right? Yeah. I pulled out a memory card. I hadn't used one of those in a minute either. But let's, let's get this booger started. back yes i put it in a regular case the dual screen case is here and the box is here the only thing i did order that i don't have pictured the bamboo pen so that should come on friday i've got a pretty good deal on that it was like 25 bucks let me give you <laughs> my story of why this is my second v60 brand new in the box when i ordered the unlock used one for the same price so silly me, I have Mint Mobile and I thought I needed an unlocked phone because it's not with one of the major carriers, but it is, you know, under the T-Mobile umbrella. I did not know that you can use locked T-Mobile phones with Mint Mobile. Found that out later, but that's fine. When I bought the original phone on Swappa, $650. It came with extra screen protectors. It had barely been used the whole nine, like mint condition, whatever. What ended up happening was I, I got the phone and that night I wanted to watch videos and I dealt with this screen issue that I found out I'm not the only person to deal with. It's just a few defective V60 dual screens out there. I did take pictures of it, could not duplicate the problem next, the next day send that to the seller and say hey here's what I'm dealing with from his understanding everything was fine when it left his possession you know I told him I didn't you know think he was lying about the phone or anything just like I didn't want him to think I was lying about the issue I was having so we came to an agreement he told me hey you can send it back to LG and have him fix it or whatever and I was like ah, I really don't want to deal with any of that Papa stepped in they asked me to return the phone 
and you know when he gets the phone I get a refund and you you get besides having to ship the phone back you know you have to pay for that out of pocket but you get all of your money back like the taxes the swap a fee the price you pay for the phone so I should get all of that back this isn't the first time I've had to return a phone and I tell people all the time when it comes to eBay swap if you're not getting what you asked for or if you get a defective device because this is my second defective device that I have purchased from Swappa. You know, it's null and void. It, it, when the seller doesn't know it's defective, I really can't hold it against them. I don't think the last seller knew that their OnePlus 7T was defective. But it's a matter of going through the channels and everybody respecting one another to get to where you need to be to fix the situation. You get all your money back and then you just go hunt for another phone. For me, that was me finding a better deal for a new phone. And remember, I'm gonna leave you links to in the description to the uh, tempered glass and the mat that I put on it. Now, this is like, it was a six piece set with the matte screen protector. So think about that. You're probably not gonna go through all six. I was thinking three, but it was supposed to be three, one for each screen. So it's a total of six. I look forward to experiencing dual screens again. It's been a minute, I think. I'm the type of person that gets every other gen when it comes to the V series. I had the V10, I had the V30, and I had the V50. This year, there has not been a lot that has really tickled my fancy when it comes to the phone market. So everybody's boasting this is like phone of the year. So I said, well, let me see if I can get my hands on it. I also, was looking for the velvet, but I, the ones I see that are unlocked or available don't have the dual screen. Like to me, that's a selling base for these phones now. Although the V10 did not have a dual screen and neither did the V30. I managed to get brand new LG V60 T-Mobile brand for the same price. I normally don't even do unboxings. I only unbox this because it was new and rarely get new phones. Here's my experience. And if you have Mint Mobile, you can use locked T-Mobile phones with your SIM. I like a bigger phone. Here's the phone I'm replacing. The Vivo Next 3. And when I take these two, they're basically the same size. So I'm not missing any real estate screen-wise. Actually, I'm gaining real estate because when you take this and you have the dual screen it's like having a tablet really the other device i use the iphone 11 pro max for size comparison there eh, eh, not a lot of i mean it fits on it now it's a little bit longer but a lot of people said this was a heavy phone and I feel like it gets heavier when you put the dual case on it. But to me, I guess because I'm used to carrying heavier phones, it's not really that heavy to me. And if anybody's questioning my watch here, or if you're questioning my smart ring, I did a review on the smart ring. That was my last review. The watch is the Nubia Alpha. It's fairly old. They're releasing the Nubia watch, which is coming. I know it's the Chinese variant, I think is already out. I don't know if they're gonna release it internationally. See, I can have it scroll, Gadget Goddess. But, I mean, there's cute little things that it does and there's little things that annoy me about it too. In case you were wondering, that's what I'm wearing here. I appreciate everybody who's watching this video, dropping by and spending some time with me because I have been a busy soul lately and I haven't forgotten you and I promised you a video a week and that's what I'm trying to keep up with. I tell people all the time, if during the pandemic you haven't picked up a hobby or a trade or another job, then you probably aren't doing it right. And I've probably picked up more than I can chew here lately. I'm the gadget goddess, so I'm gonna keep a gadget or device in hand or on hand. The time it takes to shoot and edit though, sometimes just gets the best of me. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Anybody who's looking to join Mint Mobile, I always have a link for you to join the Minty Fresh Club. It is in the description, along with donation links if you'd like to contribute to the channel. Hey, how y'all doing? I can see my reflection in this phone. Uh, 
put one of my favorite tiaras on this. It's just a beautiful device, so I figured I'd crown it. Thank y'all for watching and subscribing. Thanks for donations. Thanks for coming by and hanging out on Tuesdays. And thanks for coming by if you're a little savage and doing spill the beans with us. I really have a ball with y'all and y'all have really made this whole pandemic work. Have a wonderful day and hope to catch you on the next video. Holla!